What up, everybody? Yeah, that's right, you see it. We got some eggs, blueberries. All the coffee is gone, and this ain't gonna work. So, uh, yeah, I'm stuck here fixing breakfast, doing whatever. As you can see right here, we have, uh, well, you know what? Shit, I'm just cooking some eggs and some oatmeal. Sandy with to get the coffee. And uh, look at this shit right here. Check this out. I got the dishwasher going right here. So I got one load of dishes in the dishwasher. And if you look at this shit, oh, first of all, shoot, say what up. There you go, there you go, say what up. There you go, there you go. Good boy, good boy. As you can see right here, we got a lo another load of dishes waiting. So, y'all, we've been eating, cooking, and as you can see, we are running out of shit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, today we're gonna try to go to the grocery store, get some shit, you know, put this shit up, wash this shit, <laughs> and keep it moving, y'all. Uh, <clears throat> this week coming up is a big week for us, especially for Sandy. Uh, we weigh in again on on Thursday with Kit. So that's right. On Valentine's Day, we will be weighing in. So, uh, like I said before, Sandy's out getting the coffee. I'm up here cooking breakfast, washing the dishes, watching Sports Center, hanging out with the dog, doing our thing on a Sunday morning. Hey, look at what we got here. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Why don't you get us some coffees? Yeah, we got Sandy going to get the coffee today <laughs> since uh, we are all out. Yes. As yes. you can see. Yes, and it's going to be so yummy. Yes, or as you can saw when I saw. Did you say the saw? As you can saw when I showed you this, this little corner in this room right here, all empty. Yep. Mm hmm. So how have you been doing, my dear? Chilling. You chilling? I'm yeah, just working on breakfast and. Ah, oh, that's how it should be. You know what I'm saying? When I walk in this motherfucking house, when I walk in, I need to see my food on the table. That's how it should be. You know what I'm saying? Do you see yeah. any food on the table? Hey man, shit. On the on the on the on the TV table, whatever. Uh, I don't see any food on, on the stove. I don't see any food on the table. On the stove. I see the beginnings of my breakfast. I know that's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Keep that's it okay, going, y'all. Because we know yeah. who runs shit right up and through here. Yeah, it's time to eat. We're gonna keep it going. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna wait on my motherfucking breakfast. Fix some breakfast. To get ready, you know what I'm saying? Do some laundry today. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna yeah, get ready. Do some to cleaning eat. up and all that good stuff. You know stuff. what I'm saying? Yep. Sandy got on her cleaning clothes. Yeah, so. you know. Uh, yep, she about to clean for clean. us today. Yep. Look at that. This she, is my like shit. Oh. She about to clean for us today. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> now I'm saying? Now I mean, this is my like, I'm chill mode squad, son. Yeah. No? we be chilling alright today. I like your hat, honey. Thanks. Can I have it? Let's put it back where you found it. Can I have it? Nope. How come I can't have it? Nope. All right, y'all, gonna keep it going. Got some eggs and stuff to cook. Got some coffee to drink. And got a dog. And got a dog to shut up. So, be back in a minute. <laughs> okay, so preheating my oven to 400 degrees because we about to have us uh, some uh, uh, crab cakes. Let me show you what they look like. I got these from Trader Joe's, and they're really, really small, but. They do the trick if you're just looking for something real quick to eat for a quick, light lunch, which is exactly what we're having. So, I'm gonna probably have this, might do either asparagus or broccoli, because that's the only vegetable we have left in our fridge. And uh, basically, you put this on 400 degrees in the oven, you uh, bake both sides, five to seven minutes each, basically. So, just to kind of brown both sides, make sure the inside is all the way cooked. It's not gonna seem like a lot, because it really isn't. Um, it's looking like we're gonna have to make a trip to the store here shortly probably in the next day or so but so far remember I was trying to keep track of um, how long we need to go before we, we need to go back to the grocery store our little Sam's run which should have been more food than it was stuff but we had run out of a bunch of our stuff um, our last run almost lasted two weeks it's maybe gonna be shy a day of two weeks of just eating whatever we bought at Sam's not having gone to the grocery store except to get um, to replenish our stock of Greek yogurt and that's it so that's pretty daggone good I mean we made that food last forever in a daggone day and um, we had our cheat meal and that was the only time that we actually went out and got something to eat outside of 
yes, let's see, yesterday I had stir fry and then I had McDonald's, you know, for my cheat meal. Um, and then of course juice has pasta, but we already know all that. Either way, it's been damn near two weeks since we went to Sam's. I haven't gone to the grocery store since. So yeah, Sam's might be the jump off for us, dog. And I'm gonna keep doing this, experimenting with the things that we purchased to see how long things last. Because again, I don't wanna be in the grocery store all the time, but now that we have a little bit of a hang of this diet, we're kind of starting to know where to get certain things from and how long they last. So, gonna wait for this to preheat. Um, like I said, I'm either gonna do broccoli or asparagus. And just because it's not a lot of meat for juice, I am probably going to give him a potato. I could probably only have half of my serving because there is a little bit of carb in this crab cake. Um, so I'm probably going to only have half of my serving of my carb. And yeah, that's it. That's going to be our lunch. I'm trying to use everything up until it's gone so that I, when I do go to the grocery store, I need everything. Not everything, but enough, you know. But anyway, two weeks, I'm pretty happy about that, dude. Like, I have not been to the grocery store since. It's been great, so... And I hate going to the grocery store, and he really hates going to the grocery store. So, um, yeah. Woohoo! Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cook this stuff, and I'll let you know what it looks like when it's done. Here's the finished product. Crab cake, potato, and broccoli. We might truly have to make a run to the store. <laughs> because um, Real Housewives of Atlanta is coming on. <laughs> Durr. And the Grammys, and... I have no food to cook tonight. I just realized that was pretty much all the meat we have left. The only meat we have left right now, <clears throat> and technically we're not supposed to eat it, is these um, steak strips that we have. Low fat. They're really good for you. And they're the micro microwavable kind that we get from Sam's. The problem with that is, is we've already had red meat this week. Juice hasn't, but I have. So I either have to find another substitute to eat for myself and make him the strips, or I just got to find some other thing. So, um... Yeah, maybe I might go to the store. If not, I'm going to see what I got. I'm going I'm to really look. I have ground turkey left, I think, still too. So I might defrost that and just make a little something something, but I just don't have the taste for ground turkey. I just know I can't eat red meat, so we'll see how this goes. But that is our meal for this meal. So anyway, we'll see how Juice likes it. All right, so Grammys is on. I love her. Grammys is on, and Real House of Zelena is on right now. So it's like competing stuff going on right now. But anyway... I'm watching the Grammys because I actually want to see what people decided to rock considering they gave like a whole, you know, dress code situation this time for the Grammys or whatever. So far, I got a couple people that I automatically by default, well, one in particular that I automatically by default love, and that's J-Lo. If y'all saw her dress, mm, okay, and she, I mean, and she did the most amazing job of covering everything up and still making it look hot and sexy. If y'all have not seen it, y'all need to check it out. Yes, Lord. Yes, for real. Juice agrees, okay? And she, yeah, she kept it so she could stay relevant because you already know she had a very, very risque dress a few years back for the Grammy. So, of course, she's one of the people that, you know what I'm saying, would have rocked something a little bit more risque. She did the damn thing. Made it, made it classy, made it sexy, but still covered everything up. I mean, even the other leg that was covered up was covered up like on the inside where if she was walking, you couldn't see anything underneath that bad boy. Still sexy, though. But then you got to look at other motherfuckers like... Uh, I love me some Adele, but I love me some Adele, but I don't know what kind of BS type of bullshit she was wearing. She was rocking some uh, some flower curtain looking motherfucking thing. I don't know what the hell she was wearing, but it was like some straight up BS. Like she could have done better. Come on now. I know, you know, the whole Prager situation and all that kind of stuff, but she's a beautiful girl and they could have done her a little bit better. Whoever her stylist is needs to be fired for that outfit. I don't know what they were doing with that, but, you know, it's whatever. Anyway, still watching the Grammys, and uh, y'all have to let me know what y'all think of it. By the time y'all see this, the Grammys will be over or whatever, but yeah. Let me know down below who your favorite people, uh, your favorite outfits were, performances, whatever. We're curious, so if anything comes up, I'll just come back in and let you know. Juice, any, anything in particular? Uh, just let me know who got on the short skirt. <laughs> <laughs> he wants y'all to let him know. Who got on the short skirt? But you like J Lo's outfit, right? Yeah, they can't be limiting these uh, artists to what they wear. Let them wear whatever they want to wear. I feel the same daggone way, but I get it because you know people, nah. you know. But you know, it's it's it's. I get it. You have to have a little bit of discretion, nah. okay? But that don't mean look like caca just because you have to be covered up. I mean, I'm just saying, Rihanna. I really need to examine what the hell she wore. I forgot about Rihanna. Um, I'm sorry, Rihanna is. She, 
the outfit she had on, from what I've seen, I'm gonna look at it again, and I'll let you know if my opinion changes, they could have done her better too. Whoever her stylist was that decided to make her wear whatever she wore, it's just not her with all that hair and all that stuff. I mean, the whole look looks horrible for her. And I'm just being real, that's not her stilo. They could have put on something for her that was still sexy as all get out, little rocker, you know what I'm saying, esque. You know, her stilo and still made it look classy. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like that made it look like she was trying too hard. I don't know. That's just not her. That's just not my favorite look for her. I'm sorry. Anyway, and I've seen her in beautiful gowns that look way better than that. And so I'm going to look at it again, though, because I kind of saw it from a distance. I'm going to look at it again. If it changes, I'll let you know. But so far, I'm not a fan of what she's rocking at all. No, they, they're talking about discretion. and they. And I mean, but damn, go, don't go, change your whole flow. When you go into a Walgreens or a grocery store and you see, uh, you see the magazine, you see Beyonce right there, you know, GQ with less with less clothes on than she had at the Super Bowl. Hey man, they talking hey. about discretion. A kid can walk be walking through the aisle and say, "Oh, what, what is that? Oh, mm. oh." Matter of fact, when I was at the store the other day, I seen this old white man. He was, he was a little short, bald-headed white dude. <laughs> he was looking at this magazine. I, I came walking down the aisle. He hurried up and put it up. And I saw which one he was looking at. It was the uh, GQ magazine with Beyonce on it. <laughs> He put it up because he saw yeah, you coming. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Don't be ashamed, boo boo. It's okay just, if you want just, a little uh, chocolate. I just you like a little, a little chocolate bit. in your coffee. You know yeah, what I'm just, saying? It's okay. This old white guy. A little chocolate in your milk. Yeah, I just right? chuckled a little bit. You know, I was like, hey, man, hey, do your thing, man. You hey, know? man, hey. hey, man, ain't no shame. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, shit. It's okay if you want a little chocolate in your milk. You know what I'm saying? You know, a little chocolate and cream. Whatever. All right, we're going to keep washing because, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so still watching, obviously. Got a closer look at Rihanna's outfit. I only saw it from a distance, and uh, it was really, really quick. I think Rihanna's outfit is absolutely beautiful. It's a very elegant dress. It's drop-dead gorge. It does not suit her. And when I say that, I mean the way that they styled her. I don't know what the hell they decided to leave her hair the way that it was, but it just doesn't look good with the outfit. I mean, if anything, make it like a an updo or, you know, whatever. I just feel like they just threw the dress on with whatever she had on her head, and that's it. Like... She got enough money where they could have done something a little different. So that's just my opinion on the Rihanna thing. It's a beautiful dress. It's just not, it just didn't do her justice. It's not, it's I, right, basically. Um, Beyonce. I'm really disappointed in her. Beyonce knows damn well she could have come correct and more correct this particular Grammys. You looking at this outfit, Juice? No, who's it? Beyonce's Grammy outfit. Eh, she figured, she no. I she showed out for the uh, Super Bowl, so she gonna keep it um, low key for the Grammys, you know. Whatever, she could have done better than that. I'm sorry, that jumpsuit. You can't be mad at Beyonce. That's like an an outfit that she could probably have worn to an interview. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not to the Grammys. Come on now, girl. I mean, and I know you can rock whatever you want to rock. You got all kinds of paper, boo boo. Ain't nobody knocking your shit, and I still love you. You still my wifey. However. You could have come more correct with that. I mean, you've rocked beautiful gowns, beautiful jumpsuits, sequins. It doesn't always have to be bling bling either, but I'm just saying sequins and décolleté, you know. I don't know what the hell that is. It's just something you would probably have rocked walking down the street going shopping. This is something that you would have probably rocked on a regular day. I'm just saying. Not uh, Grammys, no. That's just not even a good Grammy look. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. At uh, death. Anyway, okay. On to Grammys. I don't know why I didn't bring this up. Kelly Rowland done killed everybody. Let me not put J-Lo in that category. Kelly Rowland and J-Lo, their outfits so far have been the baddest. Period. I mean, Kelly, killing it. Look it up if you haven't seen it. Okay? Her, J-Lo, so far have been my absolute top two favorites hands down and it was demure it was nice a little risque a little some little sex appeal to it but doesn't show too much of anything which is awesome of course I'm a little bit more risque than probably most people so some of my opinions may be a little bit more I don't know aggressive than others but and Frank Ocean who the hell styled his ass the hell is he wearing all that okay look his look his <laughs> outfit up that was horrible <laughs> Frank Ocean I mean, did you see his outfit? No, I didn't, but I... Look up Frank Ocean's outfit. I don't know what the hell he decided to wear today. It's the Grammys. I'm, I don't even want to talk about it. Look it up. 
and we move forward. So while we sit here and wait for most of the Grammys to go by, because some of these things, I mean, some of these songs, not that I don't know any songs, but some of the performances I'm just not that interested in. So I'm like, I wish I could fast forward. It's actually live right now. I'm DVRing it, but I really just want to like fast forward half this stuff because I'm ready to get to the performances I really, really want to see. But anyway, while we're here, we need to talk about these Grammy, I mean Grammy tickets, these uh, tickets to see Beyonce. I know a lot of a lot of people were looking forward to or are looking forward to going to Beyonce. Y'all, I love me some Beyonce. I already told y'all, she's my wifey and stuff. And you know, I mean, I thought the perk of being a wifey, I'd have gotten some discounted tickets or free tickets or some shit. But this bitch is charging over 200 something dollars for the nosebleed seats, y'all. Like, for the nosebleeds. I was like, bitch, bye. See... We just gonna have to watch your ass on television. I know she's got a special coming up, like a little movie special, whatever, that's coming up sometime in the next couple of weeks. My black ass is gonna be sitting right here watching that on the television because uh, ain't nobody trying to spend no over $200 on some nosebleed seats to watch her from up in the high sky on a screen because that's exactly what you're gonna do. You're gonna end up watching her on the screen to get a close up because you ain't gonna be able to see shit from way up in the sky. She's going to be way down below. You're going to have to be looking up at a screen provided for you by the arena or whatever. You know what I mean? That's whack. That's just whack. That's expensive as hell, though. I mean, I look. Now, I might be wrong. The tickets may be cheaper. Whatever. Either way, they're expensive as fuck. It doesn't matter whether they're $200 or $100 something dollars. It's still expensive. My God. I mean, Beyonce, she, hey, my wife is hot and she's the bomb, but... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Hashtag ain't nobody got time for that and ain't nobody got time for this damn grammy show to drag on the way it's going i'm like half these artists i'm like i don't care can we fast <laughs> i know it's bad but and juice is over here watching basketball highlights on his ipad i mean we're just waiting for like the performances you know what i'm saying y'all know what i'm talking about i gotta go do some laundry i need to do laundry my damn son. yeah some extra laundry for the week anywho yeah. All right. Yeah. Real quick. Sting, Bruno Mars, very great collab. Very good idea. Great mix. And every time I look at Steam, I think of that uh, Sting or whatever his name is. Sting. She said Sting. Steam. <laughs> <laughs> every time, shut up. Shut up. Every time I look at Sting, I think of like tantric sex because you know he's known for that. Like he's known for the tantric I sex. Didn't, I didn't know that. You didn't know that? No, I didn't. He is known for tantric Thanks. sex, like hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of, of sex, supposedly. And he can. Oh, I almost said the real word. I almost said the c word. He can finish many, many, many times over, supposedly. I almost said the real word. Woo! Yeah. It was on the tip of my tongue too. You want to look it up? Want to no, try? I mean yeah, 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 yeah. No? Hours and hours. Come on. That's A. Hey, tantric sex is what he's good at, supposedly. He's known for tantric sex. Ooh. <laughs> one Sing. person? With one person? Or Whoever, about whatever. Women? Supposedly with that one with one person, Come he can on. go for hours and hours and hours and, and finish many, many a times. Come I'm on. Just saying. Sting. <laughs> <laughs> just doesn't believe anything ever in life all right we're gonna finish watching but the that's a perfect collab it's yeah, let awesome. me know if any of y'all let me know if any of y'all think y'all are sting out there in, in that manner because ain't yeah. nobody doing that yeah. but go ahead if you if y'all can you, do that if you, out shit, there, if you out there doing that let us know because <laughs> we ain't doing that shit but i'm saying if you do i don't know why he's asking but if you do let us know yeah sure that because that's and how do you would do how does yeah. one do that? Yeah, how does one do that? Cuz I'd like to know. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Come on, all right. hours. Come on, god. <laughs> all right, y'all, check it out. We taking a we taking a uh, lunch break during the Grammys. So uh here's what Sandy cooked. Oh, the rice is delicious. We don't have any veggies on this meal, but this this should uh, be good enough for no, us. Oh, taste the rice. The rice is off the chain. Yeah, look at that. We got some uh we got some rice with some what kind of meat is this? It's just strips of steak. And yes, with some, I know with some beef with some beef strips in here. Yeah, beef strips. Yeah. We weren't supposed to eat at least I wasn't supposed to eat red meat again, but Yeah. I'm not gonna go out and spend more money. Yeah, for that. buddy, so this is what it looks like. 
rice and beef. Late night eating, watching the Grammys, catching up on all these uh, comments y'all been leaving. So we we gonna talk about these a little bit later though. But tonight we're gonna focus on the Grammys and uh, uh, this beef. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna get back with you in a second. All right, peace. What's up, y'all? This man's asleep. This is kind of where we end up falling asleep. For some reason, he likes to go to sleep watching television. Just kind of how he does things. So I know you're probably like, why are you guys never in the bedroom when you guys go to bed? We get up in the middle of the night and go to bed. It's just how we do. It's always how it's been. Um, anyway, he sleeps. I'm trying not to talk too loud. But since he didn't have a chance to say bye, and I haven't said bye the last couple of uh, vlogs, I wanted to say bye to y'all. So anyway... I love y'all to death. Just got done watching Real Housewives of Atlanta. And, um, yeah, very interesting. Hmm. Anyway, I'm sure we'll be discussing that later on. Uh, got done with the Grammys. You'll have to let me know what your thoughts were down below of what about the Grammys. Definitely let me know. Did you guys think it was fun? Did you think it was exciting? Did you think it was boring? What did y'all think? Holla at your girl. And, uh, yeah, I guess I will see y'all tomorrow. Love y'all. Bye. And you know what? Speaking of vibrators, all right, let's just go ahead. And t let's just be real about this. She gonna sing, right? Y'all, 